take 46. <laughs> Welcome to Peace Out, where I'm learning right this second to peace out because things just aren't working right. So I'm having to switch to my phone and, and uh, uh, try to adjust and figure out how to edit and post on other social media. It's just been kind of crazy. I don't like to have to change. I don't mind change when I want to change or need to change, but I don't like to be forced into change, right? So I'm learning to just peace out and go, you know what, just plug it in and go with it. But I forgot my earbuds, and so that wasn't going to be a real good sound with all the crazy stuff going on, traffic and stuff like that around my apartment. So anyway, I hope you're having a good morning, and I hope you had a good start to your morning. But man, mine are crazy right this minute. Anyway, I. but you know what? God's peace is not restricted it's not restricted to me even figuring out all these little social media things as an old person it's harder right (laughs) and it's not restricted to to anything he didn't say i'm going to give you your peace my peace except for these situations so no matter what we are dealing with we can know that we walk through it with his peace as a matter of fact i'm reading the bible through i'm in numbers this morning and, and the priestly, I, re, I was reading the priestly blessing, and I read it two or three times because it, it was really, there was so much in it. It's only like three little phrases that the priests were to pray over the, the children of Israel, right? It says, the Lord said to Moses, instruct Aaron and his sons to bless the people of Israel with this special blessing, a special blessing, okay? It says this, may the Lord bless you. May God bless you. Why wouldn't you pray that for someone, right? May the Lord protect you. We read Psalm 91, my friends and I, what's today? I guess it was a couple of days ago we met by way of Zoom. And we were talking about Psalm 91 and how God protects and keeps, right? And we know that he protects that soul, that part of us that isn't, isn't going to die. He's the protector of our soul. He's the keeper of our soul. May the Lord smile on you. May he be gracious to you. Well, we, we've, read, we've talked a lot about 2 Corinthians 12, 9, where Paul said that God told him, my grace is enough for whatever we're, we're facing. Then he says, the last part of this, may the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace. And I was like, man, peace is not a new thing. This, they were just starting out. He had just given all the, he's in the process, I guess in Leviticus, that he just finished giving all the, and, and actually, some here in Numbers 2, he told what part of the priest, who was going to be the priest, and who was going to carry what part of the tabernacle, and how they had to prepare it. Man, it was a lot. I'm glad we live on this side of the cross, where <laughs> it's a little bit easier, where we just have to trust God, right? And so he's like, he's like, may God give you peace. And I was like, that's not a new thing. And so thinking about that, I, I hopped over to a couple of scriptures in Psalms, and David understood God's peace, too. David understood it because in Psalm 4, he was, he was praying about his enemies. He was praying, we can pray, you can pray about your enemies. And I'm not, and, and you know, it's not like um, uh, praying that they, they stumble, praying that they fall, pray, you don't pray against them. You don't have to. They're going to do that on their own, right? But he was praying, you know, God, don't let my enemies have me. Help me win. And isn't that what we want to do? Isn't that the same thing we want to do? We want to win against fear. We want to win against against doubt we want to win against all these crazy thoughts that go through our mind every day but the good thing is God always we always have the victory in Christ and I believe that's in Colossians but I could be wrong but we always have the victory in Christ we can win over doubt we can win over confusion we can win over fear because God gives us his peace God is here to help us and that's what David was saying let me don't let my enemies exalt over me don't let my enemies win over me right and he had physical enemies and then he finished this whole this uh this psalm 4 with I will lie down in peace and sleep for you alone O Lord O Lord will get, will keep me safe I will lay down and while people were chasing him he was saying I can just rest in God's peace I I have to run through a lot of stuff in my brain before I get to that point. Shouldn't it be quicker than that? (laughs) There's no condemnation for those of us who are in Christ. Thank God for that scripture out of Romans, right? We have no condemnation for those who are in Christ who don't walk after the flesh, but walk after the spirit, right? And David's going, I can lie down while my enemies are chasing me and I can be in peace and I can sleep. Because when we don't have peace, we don't sleep. 
that's kind of a given. We worry, we toss and turn, we think about it every time we wake up in the middle of the night, ask me how I know. It's experiential, <laughs> right? And so, but David's saying, I can lay down in peace even though I feel like these thing, all these people are chasing me. I know they're chasing me. And yet I can still lay down in peace and sleep because I know that God will keep me. And then that made me think of another psalm. It was, and actually, the, I think a couple of these were references in the, the middle thing there in Leviticus and Numbers, I mean. And it's the last verse of a psalm that I have come to love. I, I spent a lot of time in Psalm 29, divided it out. I just preached on it, teached on it teached on it taught on, preached on it taught on it <laughs> yeah, that's good english right there uh but you understood and uh and so and then I, it always amazes me when i find a, another nugget in this psalm but in psalm 29 11 it says the lord gives his people strength well we know that because we've been reading um we've been reading isaiah 39 and 40 where it says we, we mount up with wings like eagles right in isaiah so and that he gives us strength when we wait on him and so the Lord gives his people strength. But the last part of Psalm 29 says this, the Lord blesses them with peace. It's not a new thing. God began it from the very beginning to bless his people with peace. And now we still have the, that benefit. We can still trust him for peace. We can still trust him for wisdom. We can still lay down and sleep because he gives us peace against our enemies of fear, of doubt. Of all these things that come against us a day after day. And with the increase of, of the internet, we have an increase of activity. We have increase of various stimulation. We have increase of, of, of interactions. We have inc- all kinds of crazy stuff. We need peace more than ever. But here's the good news. Peace is still right here. He didn't give it and take it back. And so all of this is before John 17, before John, what is it? 1427 where Jesus says I'm giving my people peace right I'm leaving my peace here and all of these scriptures are Old Testament they knew something we need to know that God gives us his peace it's not a manufactured I'll be okay type of peace God's got us he's got us covered whether our enemies are chasing us or we're going through a wilderness God's peace is right there if, if we're, we were living Isaiah 43 and there's floods. Matter of fact, right before this scripture in, in Psalm 29, I, this caught my eye this morning. Uh, in verse 10, it says, the Lord rules over the flood waters. So if you're going through a flood right now, if you're going through a hard time right now, God is still in control. He still gave you his peace. It's not a new thing. He's been doing it ever since the garden. Matter of fact, he made peace with Adam and Eve by making a sacrifice and clothing them Even though they had sinned, God is always after the heart. He's always been giving, has been giving his peace all along. And now it just can live in us and we can walk in peace, right? We can just peace out. So peace out today. God already, God gave it so long ago. If they can have it in the Old Testament, my goodness, we can have it in the new, right? So have a great day. Be blessed. Peace out. Trust him. He's got you. I'll see you again tomorrow.